In this second video of how to make perspective grid lines, um, I'm going to make the horizontal and vertical grids that you can use with the previous one that we've made. So open up your Procreate, then open this up, and then go to your layers, top right, create a new layer. Now this layer we want to make the lines with, so make sure it's black in the top right hand side corner. Touch the layer, press fill, then the screen will turn blank, uh, black. So if we now press transform in the top left and let's take that all the way over to create a nice thin line. And then making sure the magnet's on. Let's just pull that out. There. Turn the transform off, go to your layers. We're going to, from right to left, duplicate Go to transform and then we're going to drag that, making sure the magnet's on as well. There. Turn transform off. Think about it and let's just go about trans make sure the lines are the whole way from top to bottom. Transform off, layers, merge them two layers that you've just created. From right to left, duplicate, transform. Make sure magnets on. And let's just drag them over. See if we can keep that spacing more or less the same. Transform off. Back to your layers. Merge them to layers. From right to left. Duplicate. Um, transform. Magnet on. And then about there. Transform off. Back to your layers, merge the layers from right to left, duplicate. This is the last time we need to do for the verticals and transform and just take it right over. That's it. Turn your transform off, go back to your layers, blend them two layers or merge them, whichever one you want to use. Now we want to go from right to left on there and we want to duplicate that. This time we're going to change this one. In this new replication of that, or the duplication of that, we're going to um, press transform and we're going to turn them. So we're going to, the second button down, press it once and twice. Now we're getting the horizontal lines now. So what we want to do now is pull it down so that the horizontal line meets in the middle there and then take this and pull it out right across and save for this right across make sure the lines are accurate that's it so there you are turn the transform off and so we've made some grids there that one and that one just turn that one off we've made the horizontal the horizontal we've made the vertical, so let's put the angular, vertical and horizontal. So turn the horizontal ones off for a second. Now the vertical ones are showing, they're active, uh, they're acting, that's to the vertical ones, I beg your pardon. Now what I want to show you there is we want to go to transform and what we want to do is we want to distort it, so press and hold one of these bottom ones, take it right up and pull that out and pull that down you can use that original vertical there as a guide if you want take it there So what we've got there is we also want to make this a little bit smaller so I can see the bottom left hand side one. Let's distort this one as well. Pull that in. Now get the fingers and make that line at the top horizontal. And that's giving you some 
distortion there, take off the transform, go and put this one back on. So we've got the horizontal, and there we go. And that will give you different ways for creating a scene with buildings and such. Uh, you can distort as much as you want, just hold them corners, and then it'll give you the distortion. So that's basically it. Save these, don't merge these, just save them as they are, and then uh, that way you can pick and choose. You can uh, just turn, one, turn them too off and just use that one. You can just use that one, or you can just use the horizontal and the angular grids. So that's basically it. Don't forget to go to your spanner and share your artwork. Save it, that is, and save it as a PNG, which is a lossless data format. And it will save transparencies as well. Save it to your photos. Wait, and then it'll be done. That's it. So go to gallery just to check. It's basically closing it. So thank, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked the video, subscribe and share. And look out for my next videos. That's it. There it is. So you can open it again if you want. Bingo. Done. Thank you. Bye-bye.